Come on, man. I mean, the kid, I take his putter away twice, and both times he knocks it close enough to tap it in with a wedge. Hey, what's up, folks? Ronnie from New Jersey here, Inside the Leather Podcast. Got a little nine hole challenge for you today, all right? We're at the beautiful Rock Spring Golf Club right here in West Orange, New Jersey. Here are the rules for today's nine hole match with me and, you know, Deuce, Jeremy the producer. So listen, this is what we're gonna do. We're playing nine holes, okay? I get a mulligan on every hole. If I don't use the mulligan and win the hole, I get to take a club out of his bag, okay? If he wins a hole, he gets to pull a club back into his bag. The loser of this nine hole course is gonna have to face some serious consequences. And to find out what they are, you gotta tune in to next week's episode of Inside the Leather Podcast on YouTube, iTunes, wherever you get your podcasts. So we're starting the challenge here on the back nine. We're at 10 at Rock Spring Golf Club. Here we go. Using my mulligan right off the bat. Winners go first, so. All right, so the first hole, first tee shot, obviously I needed to take my mulligan there. I ended up with a double bogey, just not a good way to start. Jeremy part a hole with a beautiful putt on one. He's up by one, hole number two. He went way right on his tee shot. He's going off of the 10 fairway, coming into the 11. No way. No way. We got a good opportunity here. 175. Oh, I'm in the sand again. Come on, man. God, did I go in the other one? Of course I did. Why wouldn't I? Break this out, my foot. I'm on a divot. Doesn't matter. I was in a, I was in a divot too. Yeah, but you made the Friday, and I didn't make that. I don't think I made it either. Ball was in the divot. This, 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 this sand. Pick the ball up in the sand. No, you could rake it. Two holes here, we're on the 12th tee box. I'm down two already. I forgot the rules of the, own, uh, of the game that I created. I could have taken a damn mulligan, a free mully, on the sand trap. Anyway, down two. I'm not gonna forget again, I promise. So it's all right? Uh, maybe blocked out by a tree. I don't know if I, if I should trust them or not. We'll get up there and see what's what. Oh my god. <laughs> I used the mulligan and it's a worse shot. What am I doing? Ah! God, this kid's putter is high. 24, 12, 6, 3. Missed it! Missed it. And I missed it. All right, so we're on the 14th tee box. As you know, I went double, double, double. We both fired back with a par on 13. So I'm still down three through four. Terrible. 
All right, so I got 274 here after a beautiful tee shot. As you can see, A1 position, dead center of the fairway. I mean, I'm down three holes, so I might as well go for it. So we're hitting three wood. We're gonna get it hopefully all the way up to the green. Woo! Went in the bunker, but it came out of the bunker, so we're good. And this is the John Deere we talked about on the episode. What's up, brother? How are things, man? Freezing. It's cold, a little nippy, but the course is looking nice. Trying to aerate. She's looking good. Jeremy is like, he must be camping right now because he's so far deep in the woods trying to find his ball, but it's not going to matter because I still have a mulligan in my pocket for the hole if I need it. If not, he's losing his putter for the next hole and moving forward. We're putting. We're putting. Boom! What about this guy that invented this little gib gizmo here? The little gizmo. Helps you pull your ball out without bending down, without touching anything for COVID reasons. It's beautiful, right? Guy made it a bunch of years ago. Okay, just heard the history of it. Guy made that, invented that about 15, 20 years ago for elderly people, you know, for seniors, so they don't have to bend down to get the ball, right? And now, because of COVID, he's killing it. Wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. Even single digits handicaps do fall off the bus sometimes. All right, so we're back in the game here, folks. So I parred the 14th. We're on 15 now. I parted with no mulligan, right? Beautiful Jeremy Bogey did. Now, I get to take a club from him. So on this hole, or until he wins a hole, he doesn't get a chance to use his putter. Three putts right here. Come here. Whoa, 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 cuz you lost your putter. Uh uh. Go get your damn wedge. Nice try, pal. Or he's got to make this putt with his sand wedge in order to win the hole. Oh uh, yeah. Thirteen. Scoring correction. When I when we pushed 13, 14 was supposed to be for two holes because we're carrying over here, right? I won 15, so I'm so now technically we're teeing off on 17 because we both pushed on 16. This hole's worth two. Four right, four right. A1 position worth two skins. We're tying this match up. We're tying it up. That's two holes. That's two. We are all square going into 18. Scorecard, all square. Started off terribly. Kept pounding at it and we're back. Now, we're taking this putter. 18 for all the marbles with no putter. It's not a bad shot, but I do have a mulligan, so I think I'm going to use it. Little does he know, I'm gonna put it on the green right here. End the match, going on the green. Oh, come on. He's been driving like crap for four straight holes, and he goes to 18, and he, and he, it's 305, I think, 305? To the front of the green. If he's on the green, I'm gonna be nauseous. Nauseous.
Make this, you make this, you win. You miss it. Um, I, I'm, I'm hoping for a push. I should just putt with the wedge from now on because I seem to drop them every single time. Should I make them jump in that water? It's 40 degrees out. Should I make them jump in that water? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Look at him. Look at him. With the wet, people. With the wet. Let's go home, Mike. Come on, man. I mean, the kid. I take his putter away twice, and both times he knocks it close enough to tap it in with a wedge. But it's not your day. It's not your day. It's not your day. But we fought back hard. We made it close. We made it come down to 18, or well, the ninth hole, the last hole in the match. Watch the hill. Don't fall down the hill. Oh. All right, whatever. It was fun. All right, folks, so that's a wrap from here from Rock Spring Golf Club in West Stars, New Jersey. Inside the other podcast, little nine-hole challenge. Mulligan, if I don't use it, I win the hole. I grab a club. We were all square on to 18. You saw his sick drive. You saw me make that long putt for par, and I was super stoked about it. But then he goes and taps in with a wedge. Yeah. Guys, not for nothing though, if you're playing with a really good, if you got a friend that's a really good handicapper and it's like, you know, strokes just gets a little monotonous, you know, do something like this, have fun with the game, make them lose clubs, make the good handicappers, make them have to putt with a wedge. It's not that easy, although today, it was. It looked easy for this guy. Lifesaver right here, baby. Check out Intel Other Podcast, folks. We, a new episode airs every Thursday on Golficity Network, YouTube, wherever you get your podcast, iTunes, Spotify, wherever. Check us out, subscribe, and check us back next time. <laughs>